But girl, you so fine. Take off those stilettos and we can drink some wine. Yeah, I'm a freak like that. Girl, don't be scared, cause I'm gentle from the back. They call me Mr. Skinner when I'm making like this. The way you move it, baby, yeah, it's driving me crazy. Hey, you should use your love and it takes me. I need a fly chick to upgrade me. She amazed for the sexy lady. The way you move is driving me crazy. Uh -huh. Hey, you should use your love and the taste, man. I need a fly chick to upgrade. Let's go. She amazing. I love a low pro down south girl. All black, nice rack. Yeah, I need her in my world. Love at first sight. Told her how to ride a bike. You would think she wallowed out, but she keep that thing tight. She got a lot of ball when she bites. Standing tall like an Oscar. Yeah, that girl's super tight. I said it on the right. I don't know. Yeah, she might. Let a motherfucker wipe her off in Cali like two dice. She hand it to you. Take it back like sight. The way she wear them shorts, she make me harder than a pipe. Oh, and I ain't, I ain't got nothing to say. Like Fuck that shit, man. She amazes. The way you move, the way it really turns me on. Got my nose open wide. I don't know what is wrong. I can go on and on. But this thing don't last that long. Come on and go with me. Jump up in the Chevy. She amazes. I'm Justin Baker. The Braves and Reds just got started in Cincinnati. Atlanta staying in the tri-state area for a three-game weekend series before returning home to Atlanta after a nine-game road trip will come to an end on Sunday. Currently, no score as they're in the bottom of the first and the Reds are batting. Mike Boltanevich on the mound opposite Bronson Arroyo. To the hardwood where the Hawks made Travis Schlink their new GM last week, and today he was formally introduced to the media. Then he dropped by the Kia Studios with the Midday Show and said he's just trying to bring his own style to the ATL. I think the most important thing that I've learned from those guys along the journey is you have to be yourself. You know, you look at Pat Riley, he certainly has his style. You look at Don Nelson, he certainly has his style, and you wouldn't confuse the two styles at all. Right. But that's who they are. Schlink comes to Atlanta from the Warriors, who did take care of the Cavs last night in the NBA Finals Game 1. It was Golden State 113, Cleveland 91. Kevin Durant had 38 to lead all scorers, while Steph Curry and LeBron James each had 28. Game 2 set for Sunday. In soccer, Atlanta United has won two straight thanks to five goals from Miguel Almarone. He's been named the MSL Player of the Week back-to-back -back weeks now as the Five Stripes are out west taking on Vancouver tomorrow night against the Whitecaps at 5.30. With updates every 20 minutes, I'm Justin Baker from the Kia Studios on your home of Atlanta United's matchup against the Vancouver Whitecaps Saturday at 5.30. Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Atlanta Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Do you have a case of the Mondays? You know what it is? I, I just need a me day. Then Kevin can wait on CBS is just what the doctor ordered. I had to Heimlich you. It was shrimp fed. I was tired of peeling. TV's number one new comedy. What does that smell? My candle. It smells like meatloaf. Because it's a meatloaf candle. <laughs> Proves laughter is the best medicine. Hey honey, you want breakfast? Thinking about going for a run. Okay. I thought about it. I'm going to have breakfast. Kevin James in Kevin Can Wait. CBS Monday or stream it live or on demand. Sunday on 60 Minutes, our interview with one of Putin's harshest critics who says he was poisoned not once but twice and survived. You were very, very sick and went back. Now, are you finished? Oh, God, no, of course not. What story has Moscow seeing red? The one he'll tell on 60 Minutes. Plus, in Africa with the Gorilla Doctors. We have some of the most important patients in the world, right? See how they're saving the great apes. 60 Minutes, Sunday on CBS. CBS Monday. I got the best donuts in Chicago. Looking for service with a smile? Do you have anything soy-based? No, everything here is food-based. <laughs> Keep looking. I'm going to help you bring this place into the 20th century. Uh, you mean the 21st. No, I don't. So watch out. It's my trademark. Jalapeno donut. Feels like I'm eating the sun. The donuts are coming. So what's the pay? Minimum wage. Health insurance? First aid kit. Do you believe in profit sharing? Yeah, I believe in it. I don't offer it. Superior Donuts. CBS Monday. Or stream it live or on demand. Sports Radio 92.9.
92.9 The Game. Will they add hot new talent on the cheap or pony up and lose cap space? How can you allocate your resources? And The NBA Draft is June 22nd. I see a little gleam in your eye, Coach Buck. We're bringing you the Hawks picks live from the College Football Hall of Fame from 7 to 11 p.m. Our Atlanta Hawks play here. Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. (laughs) I'm laughing at myself, man, because... Alright, so for people that don't know, I did radio... And once again, this is for the benefit of people that don't know. I did radio here in Atlanta for close to 12 years. And their moniker or or slogan or whatever it was, was The Zone. Right, right. So not where we're working at right now. No way, J-Rock. No way. No way are we working at that place right now. We are working at the game. And so I guess over saying it repeatedly, day after day after day after day, plus add to the fact of it that I have taken many, many hits to the head over my life playing the game of football. Um, That's what happened in the first segment, man. So I apologize. You are listening to Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. I am Doug Stewart. You can text the show on the Solomon Brothers Diamond text line at 404-741-0929. You can also call that as well. Last night, game one of the NBA Finals, 113-91. to Kevin Durant, the Slim Reaper once again, 38 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists to lead the Golden State Warriors past King James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Steph Curry did big things as well, scoring 28 points with 6 three-pointers and 10 assists. Um, LeBron James did have 28 points, 15 rebounds, and 8 assists, but it wasn't enough. And also last night, something else that looked like it happened to me is it looks like they started to rely on Kyrie Irving a little bit uh, as well as they did in a couple of the previous games and their previous series for scoring. Um, but LeBron still is LeBron. He's going to get his just by being active on the floor and doing what he does as the floor general, the consummate floor general. Kevin Love had 21 boards. 15 points, and Tristan Thompson, which we will talk more in depth about here later on tonight. Tristan Thompson had zero points. How can you be seven foot something tall and have zero points in an NBA game? That's just unbelievable to me. Uh, Golden State's four turnovers tied in NBA Finals low, which was incredible. Here's a quote. They're the best I've ever seen, Cavs coach Teron Lu said. They're 13 and 0. They're consistently and constantly breaking records everywhere. Once again, this is the team that break the Bulls record for season wins in the season a couple of years ago. We could be a lot better than we were tonight, but in the finals, you get a W. We'll take it. That's what Kevin Durant had to say last night about his performance and about the game. Game two in the series is Sunday night back in Oracle Arena with a deafening sellout to be on hand for sure. How about this? LeBron James' three-pointer in the third quarter moved him past Reggie Miller with 320 for third, for second place on the NBA's postseason list, which is uh, led by Ray Allen with 385. Uh, once again, Tristan Thompson, zero points last night. We're going to talk about him later. I'm pretty much going to tell you right now. He's going to be the subject of our Chop Shop episode in hour number four. Once again, we go tonight from 7 to 11 p.m. A couple of things that jump out at me about this game last night uh, that I kind of jotted down. Number one is a dominating win by the Golden State Warriors, and Klay Thompson didn't even get his on. Klay Thompson finished the night with six points. So you mean to tell me the, uh, the guy who has the all-time record in the NBA for points in one quarter because Kevin Durant is now a part of the squad, is kind of reduced to almost like a like a third fiddle when you're talking about the scoring on that team. Klay Thompson goes for six points, and you still win by 20-plus points. That jumped out at me. Uh, three and one last year. Remember, for all the Cleveland Cavalier fans out there, the LeBronites, the people that want to see LeBron dominate and, and approach Michael Jordan for some of the records as far as wins and statistics or whatever, you have some solace. Last year, the Cleveland Cavaliers were down three games. The one they came back and win. There's runs in the NBA. There's runs in particular games as well. The series is not over. Don't go crazy. Don't lose your mind. There's a lot of basketball left to be played. That being said, though, as I said earlier, uh, no good indicators last night for the Cavaliers. 
KD is a unicorn. I talked about this in the first segment. This dude is unbelievable. The skill set for a guy that tall is is crazy. And it was on full display last night. Just a fun guy to watch. Uh, real smooth, as I mentioned in talking about George Gervin. Um, and LeBron James. He did have 28 points in a losing effort. But if you want to compare LeBron to the greatest to ever do it, or at least the greatest in my lifetime over the last, I don't know, 40-plus years. I'm 47 years of age. If you want to compare LeBron James to Michael Jordan, here's where that type of basketball player, that type of legendary basketball player has to step up. So I expect a whole different game in game two, which will still be in Golden State, but I expect LeBron to make adjustments. I talked about Tyron Lue making adjustments. I expect LeBron James to make adjustments. Um, and lastly, this is something we cannot forget in talking about this series last night and this game last night and this series that we have right now in the NBA Finals. 13-0. and 0. The Golden State Warriors, I, I, I don't think this has been talked about enough today. The Golden State Warriors in the playoffs right now are 13-0. and 0, And they just beat the world champions by 22, I believe it is, if I can do my math right. By 22 points. And it wasn't even as close as the score indicated if you watched the game. This was a blowout. Now, the, the, the Cavaliers kind of hung tough with them at the very beginning, but just too much talent out there. And I continue to say that, and that's the thing that keeps coming to my mind when I think about this Golden State Warriors team, man. It's just too much talent. Like one or two guys can have a bad night. And then Draymond Green will start hitting threes. And Klay Thompson will get hot, a guy that has the all-time record for points in a, in a period, as I mentioned earlier. Or maybe those guys are off, kind of like they were last night. Klay Thompson didn't go off. He didn't have a big game. And what happened? Steph Curry has a big game, and Kevin Durant comes in and gets you 38. I mean, what do you do? And defensively, they played fantastic as well. I think JaVale McGee, even though Shaq be clowning him all the time, man, he brings that that rim protective presence that they haven't had over the last couple of years. They've had some some solid guys to play down in the paint. Zaza, former Atlanta Hawk, has done a pretty decent job. He's, you know, he's serviceable, I guess. But JaVale McGee really kind of changed a lot of shots last night for the Cleveland Cavaliers just because of his wingspan and how physical and, and how athletic that guy is. So I don't know, man. Y'all tell me, what what are your thoughts about game one of the NBA Finals? Uh, I want this to be a good series more so than anything else. As I said yesterday, I got Golden State winning this thing in five. That's right. And I hope that I'm wrong. I absolutely hope that I'm wrong. I want the Cleveland Cavaliers. I want LeBron James to win another ring. I am hoping for that. I just don't see it. And guess what? Vegas agrees with me. Vegas absolutely agrees with me that uh, that this is going to be a tough, tough series for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Once again, call me on the Solomon Brothers Diamond text line at 404-741-0929. That's the same number where you can text as well. And uh, and we'll read some of your thoughts uh, on the game from last night. A lot of football we're going to get into. We'll get into a lot of Falcon talk coming back from the break. We'll also read some of your messages on the chat line, on the Solomon Brothers Diamond text line, and we'll take your phone calls as well. That's right. Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. You are listening to Doug Stewart. And if you're just getting in your car and you hear me for the first time, man, that's right. This is your boy. So I'm back on radio at least for a couple of days. Kind of, I think they call it like an audition. So we've been auditioning for the last two days. This is the second day. They let me back in the door today, so that's a good thing. And I'm pretty sure, or I'm at least thinking, that they may let me back in the door some point down the road as well. Once again, 404-741-0929. That's 404-741-0929. The Solomon Brothers Diamond text line. We will read a lot of your chat messages when we get back from the break on the text line. And uh, and do what we do and have fun around here. Hour number three, we got an entertainment report, a little fun. We kind of mix it up, flip it a little bit with that. We'll talk a little bit about... Um, some of the interesting things going on in the world of entertainment. We'll be back in about four, five minutes. Don't go away. The Doug Stewart Show. Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Uh, the expectations have definitely 
raised, uh, I think, for, for this club. Then a third one is true. Vijalba stays with it long enough to succeed. Now we are 